Hey, Joel Lightcatcher here, and today we have an unboxing, and what we have here is a Sportscaster roller. This is the MR110 Trike Trainer with Progressive Rollers. And you can see, I haven't even opened it yet, so let's get started. It's, uh, it's stapled at the bottom, so I need to use my flyers here to get these out. Okay. Let's see what we got here. And, whoa, that's it, nothing in the box. And it comes already pre-assembled. There's really nothing to do here. I thought I was gonna put something together, but nah, this is ready to go. And we got, oh, it says here, red cap right rear left front okay so as you can see there it says the red goes to the back so this is the back and this is the front and the front just spins very freely and the back is supposed to have progressive oh yeah i can feel the resistance there well i'm gonna oh yep yeah. this peel Peel and re-stick. So, what they've done here is they made it very nice that if I'm forgetful, I can peel this label off and re-stick it as I need. All right, so um, we'll put this in a safe place. Let's go get out the trike and give this a shot. Be back in just a minute. Well, I found the best place for that reminder sticker. Just stuck it right there so I won't forget the simple instructions. Well, you can see my trike is now in the middle of the living room and I've got these extra things, but I'm gonna to get to this in just a minute. Let's start by taking the roller and putting it with the mag part towards the back of the wheel. Now, what these are, these are risers and they're really made for my other trainer, which is for my two-wheeled recumbents. And the reason you would have this is because, well, as you see, the roller raises the rear wheel. And with the roller, you can expect it to roll back and forth a bit. We can lock that down by using a riser. Because the trike is gonna wobble in the roller, we wanna use some type of riser or something to keep it from rolling. In this case, I'm going to pick this riser and I'm going to put it in the highest position, like that. And of course, with the trike, we've got two front wheels and we're going to get them both in the riser. Well, with those risers in place, it'll stabilize it and keep it a bit more uh, level and less rocky. Let's go sit down and give it a try. Okay, this is exciting. Feed in. By the way, that's Boo Boo. Boo Boo is keeping me company. Okay. Yeah, I feel a little resistance. Let's go put this on the easy setting. And that just floats. And I'm just going through the gears. I'm in the one to one gear right now on my Schlump Drive. Not feeling much resistance. Going all the way up into the toughest gear. Yeah, I'm feeling some resistance there. So let's bring it all the way high. And let's start in the 65 tooth gear now. Yeah, I feel something there. Oh, is it that little? Yeah, I definitely feel resistance. Ooh, it's getting tougher. I'm going all the way to the toughest gear. Oh man, there is definitely resistance in this. I am going uphill for sure with this. And I'm going tougher. Ooh. This is, uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> that is a lot of resistance. Now they got one that has double resistance and that is obviously not for me. This one is just fine. Let's go put it in my regular Striking position. Getting a lot of breath on this. 
Okay. Now, normally, an easy cruise, I'm like, right about there. I'd say it's a little lighter than I normally would feel on the road. Let me try the next gear up. Yeah. Okay, here's my feeling. Whatever gear I'm in here, on my rear shifter, the feeling is about maybe one gear easier than normal. You know what? I'm trying to feel it. Let me take it back a little. You know what? I take that statement back completely. It feels exactly like the flats in this gear. And if I stop pedaling, let's see. <laughs> no coasting, that's the magnet resistance in there. And right now, I'm in the easiest gear. And that's definitely resistance. Let's go back into my one-to-one. -one. And this is my resting rod position. Damn, it feels just like the real road without the road vibration. I still am rocking a little bit, even with the risers. But it's not bad at all. And what I mean by rocking is, as I push forward and stop pushing, there's that little rock at the end of each of those push strokes. But you know what? This is great. And I'm already feeling a little perspiration. So, yeah. Uh, two thumbs up for the Sportscaster Rollers. If you'd like more information on the Sportscaster Rollers, I have it on my website at getbacktrikes.com slash recumbent resources. I'm Joel Lightcatcher, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Oh, and hey, a thumbs up on this on YouTube would go a long way to help. So please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks again. Bye. Whew. I got to ride home now. Whew, it's all downhill from here. Hey, where'd Boo Boo go?